Ultra Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass less times than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, October 5th. I'm a little bit tired. Um, so the theme this week on Project Chronicle is... Let me minimize this. Uh, the, the theme this week on Project Chronicle is cheese. Well, I don't eat cheese. I don't eat dairy products. But I didn't want to become the preachy vegan that just kind of was hated. So we're not going to do that. So I figured I'd just tell you what I've been up to this week. So my husband has decided that he... it Now, right before the new... WoW expansion comes out is a good time to do a bunch of pet collecting and achievements and all of that. So he got to 400 pets, which is the highest achievement right now. Um, he got the Eastern Kingdom Safari, so he has all of the possible pets that you can collect in Eastern Kingdoms, and he has the Calendar one almost finished. He's working on the last one, and I keep peeking over because he's camping the spot right now, and I'm just looking to see if anyone shows up, but nothing yet. Uh, the Silver Detached Language. For those of you that know, spawns, and for those of you that don't, spawns in Tenaris during a sandstorm. Um, so yeah, we did, we've did. we been working on that the last few nights. We got in the Eastern Kingdoms one Friday night. We stayed up, to, stayed up till 1 in the morning to get the Restless Shadeling. So that made me really happy for him. Um, what else have we done? We are slowly working on gearing up to doing uh, regular Siege of Ogremar. And because I'll be doing it with friends, I will, pr assuming we can get everybody together to do it, I will be filming it. I will also probably be filming the... Uh, uh, Warcraft event that's going to happen, a pre-launch event for Warlords. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to post that. I may just post that on a Sunday and I'll just like kind of talk over it and whatnot. Um, but for those of you who don't know, the pre-Warlords work, the pre-Warlords pre, the pre-launch event to Warlords, one of these days, one of these days I'll learn how to speak, the pre-launch event for Warlords of Draenor, Draenor, however you want to say it, I say Draenor, whatever, um, is they are revamping Molten Core to be a level 90 experience, only for this little bit. You queue for it through LFR, uh, which is looking for raid, for those of you who don't know. And you will get, um, you can get a Molten Corgi. So it's a little Corgi that's all molten. Um, you can get a Corehound Mount, I believe. And yeah, it's really exciting. So there's a couple other things you can get as well, but it's, it's just a pre-event. There's a couple other things that are going to happen. And I am really stoked, I am really excited, and yes, so we have a bunch of friends that are planning on doing a uh, flex Siege of Ogremar raid, so I don't really do raid walkthroughs for current stuff anymore, older stuff is a lot easier, but I will talk you through the stuff as long as the mechanics aren't too different from LFR. I don't always feel right queuing, um, I don't feel right filming looking for raid raids that I do because these people kind of have an expectation of privacy and I don't think that's really fair. Um, if I do with my friends I'll be checking with them to make sure they're okay with their character names showing up and I will be blocking out the chat log and you may be hearing our conversations but I think for the most part we'll be talking in the chat log so it won't be that big of a deal but yeah I'm really excited to do that so I will talk with friends but assuming we can get everybody geared <coughs> excuse me excuse me assuming we can get everybody geared in time that'll probably happen which is really exciting and yesterday I spent I want to say 10 hours at a friend's house scrapbooking and I don't want to show you the stuff because it's pictures of my family and they're kind of private about that kind of stuff um, but I got the family tree done and I was really really proud of it and I got um, my grandpa's two pages of him growing up done and so next I'm gonna work on my grandma's two pages and yeah oh, I'm just I'm really excited it, it turned out really well I was really happy with them um, and yeah I've been yammering on now uh, uh, four minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I need to talk a bit longer. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to really, but you know, it'd be nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for new stuff. I'm hopefully, I'm thinking I'm going to try and surprise my husband this week and maybe conspire with my father-in-law and mother-in-law and get this place down here, kind of reorganized back to the way it was so that we can set up our TV with the love seat that they have in the other room because we used to, what we used to do in the old house is we'd have our PS3 in the bedroom and we would stream um, TV shows and stuff that I had possibly acquired through the Pirate Bay. Um, 
to our bedroom and we'd watch like Stargate Atlantis, Game of Thrones. Um, we watched the newsroom that way. Awesome show, by the way. Newsroom is freaking amazing. Um, so we'd like to start, at least we want to finish Atlantis because we're about halfway through um, Stargate Atlantis. So we want to finish that and then we want to start up Game of Thrones. So yeah, we want to get that set up. So I'm going to maybe try and do that this week with the father-in-law and the mother-in-law because I can organize but I can't lift all this stuff. There's like a big, big table and big boxes and a printer table that is also very heavy and yeah anyway so um what else oh five minutes that's better um that's pretty much all i have to say uh you guys have been strangely enthusiastic about my videos which has been really really nice with the kind of schedule thing that we're doing um come november when warlords comes out we're going to be changing it up a bit i'm thinking we'll wrap we'll probably stop with well for a good couple weeks i'll be just doing warcraft stuff i think just because of all the excitement um, but once the Diablo season ends, I might actually do a, I don't know when the Diablo season is ending, but once it does, I might actually just like level a character and show you guys all the stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, six minutes good enough. All right. <laughs> Sorry guys. It's been, oh, I got up like an hour ago, an hour and a half ago and it's like one th hour and a half ago. I got up at 12 and it's one thirty now. So I am just, I am nowhere near awake. My tea is barely touched because I've been talking. So yeah that is it for today guys so tomorrow we will be back with our diablo season and our crazy barbarian that needs some chamomile because he needs more because she always needs more fury and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day